September 18, Friday of the 24th week in Ordinary Time A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke Jesus journeyed from one town and village to another, preaching and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God. Accompanying him were the twelve and some women who had been cured of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out. Joanna, the wife of Herod's steward Cusa, Susanna, and many others who provided for them out of their resources. The Gospel of the Lord Some women Jesus preaches and proclaims the good news of the kingdom of God that invites men and women. In fact, Jesus' traveling band of disciples includes men and women of all sorts. Specifically, Jesus has chosen the twelve men to represent the twelve tribes of Israel and form the nucleus of the new people of God. Accompanying Jesus are women who are living testimonies that the good news of God's kingdom is already at work. Late in Luke, the woman will serve as the first missionaries of Jesus' resurrection. The same women are mentioned, Mary Magdalene, Joanna, and Mary the mother of James. They will be the first to proclaim that Jesus is risen as the angels have announced. The crux of the gospel revolves around the resurrection. Paul, in the first reading, demands of every believer to focus on the resurrection. If there is no resurrection of the dead, then neither has Christ been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, then empty too is our preaching, empty too your faith. In the ages of the resurrection, the new people of God is universal, Catholic, and for all. Elsewhere, Paul declares, For all of you who were baptized into Christ have clothed yourselves with Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither slave nor free person. There is not male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus.